Hi there, YouTube. I'm back here today for another game review. It's very excited to check it out. Traffic Jam! The rules of the road are the rules of the game game. This is for two to four players. Ages, I'd say, about seven, eight plus. It's going to take you about 20 minutes to play. And in Traffic Jam, you are going to have a nice big board of a city, and you are going to try to get from point A to point B. But it's not going to be that easy because there will be various different traffic laws you have to follow, and people will be putting down traffic signs physically into the board as you are playing, trying to make it so it's not going to be so easy for you to get to your destination. It is a 64-year-old game. It's almost old enough to retire. But should this game be retired? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Traffic Jam. So first and foremost, we're going to get a handy dandy box insert, which will tell you all the rules. And it's a pretty straightforward game. You're going to start on point A, and you're going to have to get to point B by following all the different traffic laws. Overall, the rule sheet is pretty well done. You will have a couple questions here and there where I did not find the answers to it, but most of them are very, very minor questions. So in Traffic Jam, you're going to take control of one of these little tiny cars right here. They're really nice. Nice, really cool looking cars and you are going to place it on one of the four corners on the board and then you are going to choose one of the destinations on that corner so where I am down here in the bottom right it says start here for the diner uh, radio station factory or toll so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little uh, circle right now since we ran out of circles I'm using this little drop of blood and you're going to put it on the destination that you are trying to get to so let's see, I think I'm going to try and go to the diner because I am hungry. So, boom, I have to get from here all the way up to here. And if I'm the first person to do that and get to my location, then I win the game. Uh, everyone else is going to have different locations. Now, each person is going to get a number of these signs. And the signs are going to be four different kinds of kind of signs. There's one-way signs. There's little stop signs. There's stop lights. And there's dead ends. You're going to be actually physically putting these into the board because the boards have little circles on them, which is actually kind of really stinking ingenious. So there'll be different spots all around the board where you will be able to put these, and that will impact the traffic law for that block. Not for the entire road, but just for that block. So if I put it right here, everybody on this block would have to pay attention to whatever the stop or whatever the sign said. So, there's also a bunch of other various different things scattered around the board. There's these little fire hydrants, which if you blink, you'll miss them. But they're important because if you ever land on one, you get yourself a traffic ticket, which means that you have to go to the police station before proceeding to destination. It's really, really bad if that happens. Also, uh, if you ever run a stoplight, which we put out, then the same thing happens. There's different spots. There's different speed limits. So, for instance, on the red, you can only roll three or less. Uh, on the yellow, you have to stop in the yellow spots or you can't go there. And there's going to be different things going on. But for the most part, you've got a good feel for how the game has worked. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take turns. You're going to roll the dice. Other than that is a very routine roll and move game. So I would take my dude and I'd move it one, two, like so. And then my turn would be up and then someone else would move. Now, let's get back to these signs. How do the signs work? Well, the way the signs work are on your turn, you can place them anywhere you want. So just place them on your turn wherever you would like when you want to, either strategically because someone's about to win the game or about someone's because it's about to get to a certain destination, you want to steer them somewhere else. But yeah, this is pretty much the entirety of the game. So now I got a six, which is okay. I can't turn here because it's five or less. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Not really the way I wanted to go, but hey, we'll keep moving. Uh, we got another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That works out pretty perfect. Um, so right now, if someone wanted to screw me over in the next turn, they might post like a dead end right here, which means, oh, it's a dead end, which means I would then have to turn around and go the other way. So let's just pretend somebody did that. So now I go back. Wow, I'm rolling hot. A lot of sixes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I have to go right here. And I go one. And anywho, you're going to continue to make your way around the board until eventually you get to your destination. If you get to your destination, you are the winner of the game. And that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to do inside of Traffic Jam. 
Alrighty then, Traffic Jam from Herrick Gilmer Incorporated. What are my final thoughts? Let's go with the pros, let's go with the cons. Starting on the pro side, uh, the game is relatively easy to learn and easy to teach, even for younger kids. And for, old, for adults, it's stupid simple because you just say, hey, follow the rules of the road. This means you can't go here. This means you can't go faster than this. This means that you're going to lose your die roll. It's a relatively straightforward, simple game, which is a nice thing. Also, it is... It has a cool factor. It has a very cool factor. The board itself looks really neat. It looks kind of like one of those rugs you might have had when you were a kid where you used to race your cars around it. and It's got all the different locations and there's bright colorful artwork and I really like the art. I like the fact that there's little holes in the board and that's really stinking cool where you can physically manipulate the board and change the, the board state of the game physically, which I really like. I wish there were games nowadays, hobby games, that had holes in the board so you could be sliding cards in or doing this or doing that because it's a really cool concept. Uh, also, the signs look very cool. The cars are very neat. They're neat little looking cars, which I like as well. Um, that all works. It looks really cool on the board, and by the time you're done, you're going to have your own little city with different stupid road signs everywhere that are going to block your way going to just about anywhere you want to go, which is a neat concept. All of it is a neat concept. And that's what I got. Moving on to the cons, Traffic Jam Oh my gosh, it's a game that shows its age. Game design was like right here 64 years ago, and now it's all the way up here. Just And that's not an insult to back then, it's just the way things are. Look at video games back then compared to video games now. We've improved the technology, we've improved the mechanisms, we've added more controls, and it makes the game technically better, as does this game show its age um so what do i not like about traffic jams so first and foremost it has a lot of the big pitfalls from games of this era and unfortunately for 30 or 40 years after it which is you lose a lot of your turns for a variety of different reasons oh i'm in a spot right now where i can only go the three or four miles an hour and i rolled the five well guess what my turn's over super fun oh i can't actually stop in this yellow spot right here i guess i'll just go the complete opposite way of where i was going oh you blocked me off there with the one-way street so i can't turn around so now i must physically keep rolling the dice until i get a one or a two to get into this yellow spot this is a lot of fun no no it's not and that's the biggest problem with this game is that a lot of your turns are just going to be you rolling the dice hoping to get specific numbers and not getting those numbers and saying oh your turn super duper fun um well it's a really cool concept putting in all those signs those signs are primarily put in to jerk people around and screw people over and that just eh, eh. Like, it's already, like, the game itself already screws you over in a variety of different ways with the speed limits and the fire hydrants, and if you don't notice the fire hydrants, like, the fire hydrants should be very apparent, but they are not. Sometimes you'll just land on one and not be, really be paying attention and be like, oh, there's a ticket. Now I have to go completely somewhere else and then back to my destination. Like, the game, here's my, here's one of my other biggest problems with the game. I hate the tickets. The tickets are such a bad idea, because if you get one you lose the game pretty much because here's the thing the point of the game is to go from point a to point b there you go that is all you have to do in this game and if you get a ticket now your destination is point a to point b to point c you have just added such an incredibly difficult as you know element to the game it's kind of like the Golden State Warriors, if you're a basketball fan. They had the best team in the league, all right? All the other teams had to go from point A to point B, which is, was to beat them. And then they're like, all right, we're going to add Kevin Durant, who's the best, you know, the second or third best basketball player right now. And they're like, all right, so now you have to go from point A to point B, but you have to do it while on fire and jumping through chainsaws. Uh, chainsaw hula hoops, which I don't know how that actually works. I'm assuming it'd be more like a chainsaw uh like a chainsaw like a diamond so like the blades of the chainsaw would be like this and so it kind of form like a little diamond that you'd have to jump through i imagine like head first because you, you couldn't get your whole body through there unless you're like a dwarf or something um wh whoa that just went completely off topic anywho traffic jam it's not good don't go down this nostalgia road trip other driving euphemisms that also pertain to crappy board games 
If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below and in the comments below. Let me know. Man, don't you wish that there was a game that, that, that captured all the fun of driving around in busy, crowded streets with lots of road signs? No. No, I don't. Do you? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.